Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about managing user accounts. You can click the accounts at the top or on in the settings, go to accounts. There you will find the user you are logged in with. On the right hand side, you can see rewards and OneDrive sign in. If you would like your account to be synchronized with OneDrive, you can sign in here. If you click on rewards, this is usually available in United States and UK, Australia and Canada, not all of the countries. It's available in. After that, the products you have purchased, it will show there. Uh, if you have more licenses from Microsoft, uh, it will show in your account. That for that, you can scroll down and go to your subscriptions. If you click that, since it is a hyperlink in Windows settings, it will take you to Windows uh, online settings page, online Microsoft account, you, where you can manage other options as well. We'll go there in a moment. The first option after your subscriptions is your info. If you would like, you can take a new picture click open camera you can choose another picture instead of logging into your account using Microsoft account you can log in using a local system account if you click there it will ask you to clear to close and back up all your current account you can skip this uh, step if you would like or you can manage the related settings go to manage accounts we'll go back to accounts the next option is sign in options under sign in options we have four more options or four ways to sign in the first one is facial recognition it's currently showing my camera is not compatible the camera of my laptop is not compatible with the windows hello windows hello is Microsoft's uh, password free login or fingerprint. I do have fingerprint sign in. The laptop does have a biometric uh, device where I can just scan my finger. If you would like to add, you can click here to add another finger. Get started. You can keep putting the first, you need to put the password or the pin code now you can keep choosing the uh, move the windows uh, sorry finger move the finger and put it back again you can keep scanning it till it goes all the way i will cancel it if you would like to remove this sign in option uh, you can remove it here again to remove also you need to okay it's removed right away but it should ask for the password maybe i recently entered the pin code that's why i didn't ask i will try to register again all set now again my finger is registered that i deleted mistakenly you can go to the pin option there are multiple ways if you would like you can choose a pin like your you, you log in with your to your phone instead of using a complete long password you can use four or six numbers or digits to log in you can even sign in with a security key if you would like, you can sign into apps with a security key, even your email. You can use a physical USB drive. If you put that one in, it will let you choose. It will copy the security files to your uh, system, to your USB from your computer. And you will, once you plug in, it will login using those credentials for 
you can disable it as well dynamic lock is if you are using an android device and you use okay well, allow windows to automatically log out when your device leaves if my bluetooth phone you can see here there it will be and my phone i'm connected if i disconnect my my phone it will simply go and if i disconnect my phone it will simply put my computer back to login screen so it will ask you for the password if you would like to use that dynamic dynamic password is if you are enable it you can if you go away from your pc that is go out of the bluetooth connectivity your computer will ask you for the password again automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when i sign in back if you would like to turn this on you can turn this on from sign in option show account details or uh, on in the sign in screen this is turned off if i turn it on then it will show on my home screen sign in screen that you have this is your email that you are logged in with you can use sign in info automatically when finishing after the update the in the related settings you can use a personalized screen that we did in the personalization uh, video i will uh, put the link in the description we'll go back to accounts in accounts after sign in options we have email and accounts email and accounts we can connect all the emails we have and all the accounts we can add all accounts we can add even gmail account yahoo hotmail live all emails or even your work emails after that you can sign in using family i will i have multiple uh, family subscriptions i have multiple emails that i am controlling for kids i can open the family app this is a new update from microsoft it got recently updated that you can use a family app i can get the family app so i will i will show you in the next video how do we manage the credentials of all members in the family accounts next we have windows backup yes the same way you log in is the way you can backup your window through your microsoft account if you use one drive synchronization you can use you can app list the backup or you can choose the preferred backup preference of the back backup OneDrive folder synchronization. If you would like to synchronize the folder, you can sign in to your uh, OneDrive here and connect which folder or all of the folder or drive C or all drives should be synchronized. You would like to remember your apps. So any computer you log in with this email ID or Microsoft account, it will allow you to download all those apps just like any mobile phone device we take especially android you can log in with one google account to the new device and it will download all the applications that have been uh, that were downloaded previously in the previous uh, phone remember my preferences so all the preferences like password language and other windows settings should be remembered so when you log into the new device all the preferences will be copied as well for privacy we'll go to accounts and privacy details later in privacy and security settings next we have other users you can create multiple users 
uh, if you would like to turn this device into a Q uh, QSIP to use uh, as a digital sign, interactive display or other things, you can get started here. You can name it and it will be turned into maybe users can use or you can broadcast the videos to this uh, device from other windows devices while adding account you can add or sign in using another windows uh, or microsoft account so you can that person or that email id can log in using that those credentials I am not sure why it's not showing uh, the next is account access to work or school uh, account if you would like to connect your school account you can simply click connect the same way you can add your school or work business that one is using Microsoft Office 365 uh, platform you can log in using that then it will show you 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 are connected to your azure active directory ad what are the local files or log files to be exported from here if you will you click here it will automatically export this mdm diagnostics uh, files these are mainly that are keeping your all uh, diagnostic or uh, error logging data next you have create a testing account if you would like you can create add an account that will be a test account not an actual account enter the test web you can enter that if you are logged in this option will show you more accounts if you are logged into an organization that have multiple accounts you can add or remove a provisioning package there are certain provisioning packages like removable media you can upload from removable media sd card or any external uh, device and the last is enroll my device in management account management if you are using a work or school device you can enroll it here under accounts go to access to work or school and the last option enroll only in device management the so the management whatever the policies are applied from microsoft active directory online or intune program will be implemented to this using this email id from your organization that sums up this video in the rela related settings all these settings account privacy subscription rewards payment options order history or accounts and billing help if you click any of these this will take you to an other microsoft online account where you will be allowed to log in which device i have to enable yeah it's here i have to authenticate the device it's two-factor authentication so it requires permission from me uh, even after inputting the correct information like correct username and password so you can log into your privacy settings you can do all these uh, settings if you would like to keep your app data check your performance you can check your media activity you can check your app service you can check search history you can check browsing history all these details can be checked online so all these privacy security payment billing your info and subscription service and subscription these are all the tabs that are here that means the account subscription reward payment order history these are all available in here for next we'll manage time and language or languages i would say 
in the next video. See you then.